guys, Casey Scanlon here. We're going to talk about fishing line today. Today we are going to talk about fluorocarbon fishing line. This is what I use the majority of the time on my spinning rods and bait casting rods. Um, you know, the, the fluorocarbon fishing line has a lot of good properties when you're fishing. It sinks, it's hard, um, so you don't get a lot of stretch out of it. You get a lot of sensitivity, so you can feel your baits on the bottom, you can feel your strikes better, um, and it, it's virtually invisible. So you can use bigger line sizes and get away with it. The fish aren't gonna see it, and it's not gonna uh, affect the action of the bait too much because that line sinks and, and is very, very sensitive. So uh, fluorocarbon fishing line is what I'm gonna use on any kind of bottom bait. Um, especially on bait casters, jigs, uh, worms, shaky heads, uh, usually when I'm flipping, um, you know, it's just you're going to get better hook sets out of it, you're going to feel the bites better, uh, you're going to be able to tell what your lure is doing a lot better. Um, you know, I'm going to throw it uh, on deeper diving crankbaits, it's going to let my deep diving crankbaits get down a little bit deeper, I can feel the bottom and what kind of covers down there. Um, I'm going to throw it when I'm throwing a swim bait, um, you know, swimming a grub around on a spinning rod. Um, you know, basically most, 80% uh, of the time, I'm probably using this. Uh, some of the exceptions are top water, um, fishing around grass, which I use a lot of braid, and then um, on spinning reels. You know, a lot of times on a spinning reels, I use a combination of fluorocarbon uh, and braid. Uh, but most of my fishing is done with fluorocarbon simply because you get better hook sets. It has low stretch, um, you know, so you can feel your bait better. Uh, you can feel what's on the bottom. You can feel the bites. And the other part of it is it's virtually, virtually invisible.